Welcome big dogs. Today we're talking vibrations. Specifically, I'm going to show how to determine GRMS of a random vibration event. So what is GRMS? GRMS is the root mean square acceleration and it's a metric used to express the overall energy of a particular random vibration event. So if we look at this graph at the right, this is a random vibration event. We often express it in the form of a PSD versus frequency plot. PSD being power spectral density and having units of G squared per hertz. So essentially what you do to determine GRMS of a random vibration event is you calculate the area underneath the curve and then you just take the square root of the total area. It's pretty simple. But then it's not. You got to keep in mind when we talk random vibrations, specifically we're, we're looking at log log straight lines. So this is a log log plot and then these are straight lines on a log log plot. So calculating the area isn't as simple as just taking two points and then doing a linear approximation of, of the area between those two points. We're in the log log world so we have to work in the log log space. So the log log space, these segments are defined by this log log straight line equation. Pretty simple. It's similar to y equals mx plus b, but it's important. It's got to be in the log log space. The slope can be defined by a simple analytical equation, and also the intercept can be defined by a simple analytical equation. Once we have that, we can essentially calculate the area under the curve by just putting in our intercept and slope for each segment and taking the integral of it. So the area under the curve for this example occurs at each breakpoint, so we have six areas to calculate. So the integral is a simple analytical solution as well. You can look it up in your integral tables. But essentially you'd calculate the integral, six of those for this PSD curve. And then what you do next is you'd add up all the areas, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, and A6, and take the square root of it, and that is your GRMS value. So that's how you do it, and so I'm going to show how to do this in Python so you can actually work through a real-world example of how to implement this in a repeatable manner. So let's go to that. This is a simple script that calculates the GRMS value of a random vibration profile. It's real simple, not a lot to it. I got some imports like NumPy, SciPy, although I won't use SciPy in this example. But what we have here is some functions like log log slope, log log intercept, and then the actual integral of the function of each segment and then this calculates the GRMS or returns the GRMS value by summing up all the areas and taking the square root of it. I also have a function that plots the PSD profile just so that I can make sure that what I put in is what I'm observing. So the inputs for this script are the following. Basically the breakpoints for frequency and the breakpoints for the PSD values. And really, um, just to give you a little bit of background, it's easy to do this in Excel. This is the random profile I'm calculating the GRMS value for, or the root mean acceleration, however you want to describe it. And here's my breakpoints. This is what I'm putting into my Python list for frequency and PSD. And then once I have those breakpoints, then I loop through each line segment and I calculate the area of it. Um, so here I go, determine the slope, the intercept, and then I calculate the integral. And then I store it all in a list, all the areas together, and then I pass it to my GRMS function and it returns the GRMS value for that vibration profile and then I plot it. I plot the vibration profile so I can see what it looks like. So we'll just step through it real quick. And so the GRMS value for this profile is 7.73 G's which is uh, which is shown by this curve. This is 
the curve that we calculated the GRMS value for. And so that's how you do it. So why is it important to determine GRMS? Well, it's got several applications that you'll learn as we go through. Um, but specifically for structural analysts and test engineers, it's a very important metric. And so that's it, guys. That's how you calculate GRMS for a random vibration event. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. Adios.